Hello, I'm back with another position and again back to those drawing days. It's white right to move and draw. So it'll be like, okay, all the previous position, it's always stalemate. But this time is rook, knight, two pawns. It seems impossible. Stalemate, uh, I think it's out of the book, out of the question. Trying to stalemate. So now what? How would I draw? Maybe offer draw. But you know, black is exchange up. And it's going to queen in two moves. Why would he accept a draw? So, no stalemate, no offer draw. Maybe, maybe I can, you know, do some kind of repetition. How do we do that? This position seems dead loss. But in fact, there's a crazy, crazy idea of knight at six. And you'll be like, wait, knight at six? What are you doing? Going away? Running away? Leaving this king to die or what? But in fact, you know, it looks like a crazy move knight at six. Black is kind of in a bit of a trouble, like, you know, he can't win. Because if you take h6, he can just promote, make a queen, and he has to take back, and this is just a draw. So he'll be like, okay, I will not take the knight, you know, it was very tempting, very good to take it, but I can just push it, make the queen next move, and I'll win. No need to care about the knight, I still control a7 and a8 squares. But in fact, after knight h6, there's a crazy idea of rook g7, giving the check, and he'll be like, wait, check. What's a big deal? I just move the king. But in fact, now, why can keep continuing checking throughout the g5? Go to g6. King can't come near anywhere. Has to go there. I won't trade. I give another check. You go here. Give another check. And then just check. Another check. And just keeps going on. And black king has nowhere to hide. Can't go behind the pawn or the rooks. And white rook keeps on attacking throughout g5. And just... <laughs> The black king from entering and there's no nothing black can do except just except the draw it's a